to KwaZulu-Natal and our concerns in that province. We heard a little earlier this afternoon that the Premier, Sitle Zikalala, has declared a state of disaster in the wake of the violence and certainly what's happened at the port there with that cyber attack. Well, senior reporter Desen Thathia uh, joins me now. Um, Desen, I want to start, of course, with what's going on in Lamontville. We heard about this cross-fire uh, incident where we understand at least one person has, desire, uh, has died, sadly. Um, and Lamontville, of course, is where we saw a lot of looting around the Bidvest warehouse, if I'm not mistaken. So just tell us exactly what happened today and what you know so far? That's right, Sally. So right now, the details around what happened is what uh, we are trying to establish with some degree of certainty. The facts are that there is a woman that has been killed. All, by all accounts, she was killed during a shootout that took place here. Now, this had come about after police had entered the area to conduct a raid. The raid was to search for looted goods that were allegedly around the informal settlements here in Le Montfort. And during that time, gunfire had broke out and this woman, the community tells us, was at her home and she was watching all of this unfold. So just to give you a sense, you should be able to see behind me that the, 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 the informal homes there are quite elevated. And she was at one of those homes while the, uh, while the police were at the bottom and that's where the community was allegedly resisting having them come into the area and search. Now, the community alleges that she was shot by police by a stray bullet after they had opened fire on the community. The SAPS won't give us any details on what transpired because they say that it has to be investigated by the independent police investigative directed as with any other police shooting. So we've put in a request for that. We haven't received a report back yet. But let's listen to a community member that I spoke to earlier describing to us what took place. What happened is the lady was, 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 was shot by the police as much as the community said. And then from there, uh, the problem is we are not sure uh, what was happening exactly because as far as I heard, there were no fights, there were no resisting of, 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 of releasing food and goods. There was nothing actually. But the police, they did a wrong thing to kill an innocent woman. So you're saying that there was no confrontation or, or, or no shots fired from the community? Nothing, at, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Our community, yes, we are in an informal segment, but we, we are educated and we understand the nature of, 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 of the law. So we can't just fight without anything. But I just want to send the statement now. Uh, police, they did someone, I mean, they did kill someone to, to our community. We allowed them to take whatever they want, but now it seems like uh, as a community, the community also say now, okay, because you guys, police, you kill people, so we are also saying no one, no police must enter here for now, because we are angry as a community. We need peace, they must stay where they are, then uh, allow our community to live, and nothing that we will do, we are not fighting with them, they are the ones who fighting with, with the innocent souls and the innocent people. Yeah, so that's obviously uh, the community uh, viewpoint or, that, or the viewpoint of that, uh, that community member. But as you say, Desen, you still need to hear from the police on exactly uh, what happened, how this escalated uh, into what seems to be uh, that she was caught in the crossfire. Now, of course, also today, the Premier of KwaZulu-Natal declaring uh, a state of disaster for the province. Tell us a little bit more about what that is going to mean for KwaZulu-Natal. Hmm. You know, Sally, if you had to cast your mind back to the past couple of weeks, I, I don't think that you had to be any kind of expert to see exactly how much that was going to cost this province. We brought you aerial visuals during that time, and you saw the warehouses on fire, you saw the damaged infrastructure and the looting. But the buildings in particular is what I want to focus on now, the infrastructure, the roads that were damaged, um, the, 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 the lights, the electricity connections, whatever else was damaged during that time. Now, that is a big part of what falls under that provincial state of disaster. The Premier, Sikhle Zikalala, was very quick to point out that it should not be confused with a national state of disaster, and we need to talk about the provincial impact of this. What he needs to get done here is have those budgets reprioritized to cater to the 1.5 billion rand that they need to find 
to fix all of that damaged infrastructure and property here in the province. And that's no easy task because, you, as you would know, lots of the monies are currently tied up in other places. So this will hopefully change that. And he's explained that to us about what it means in uh, an interview that we did early on. So let's take a listen to that. We have seen people confusing the provincial state of disaster with the state of disaster that was declared by the president. This is in terms of section 3414B, where we talk about the province in relation to the public infrastructure that was damaged. The infrastructure damage is about 1.5 billion and we need to ensure that we rebuild quickly. And that will allow us to reprioritize within the budget, but also to ask relevant departments to make more contributions so that we are able to repair or rebuild the public infrastructure that has been damaged. Yeah, so clearly quite a lot of interventions now uh, by government to try and help everyone from those who've lost their jobs to those who've lost their businesses to fixing really quickly uh, the damaged infrastructure in the province as well. Desin Thathia, uh, we'll rely on you to bring us an update from Le Montville when we hear from the police on what happened uh, that led to the death of that woman there. Thank you very much for bringing us the very latest. That is senior reporter Desin Thathia.